Hi Cancers and welcome to Intimate Goddess Tarot. My name is Inez and today I'm doing your weekly love reading. So if you, so if it doesn't apply, then let it fly. If it does apply, then I would love to read your comments down below. Also, if you would like to get a personal reading, you can contact me at IntimateGoddessTarot at gmail.com. Okay, so let's get your reading started. Uh, let's see. Please tell me about cancer for now for the month of June bottom of the deck we got the queen of swords let's see what we got going on here okay cancer so we have the ten of swords and the four of wands the Seven of Swords and the Sun. The Seven of Pentacles and the High Priestess. So some of you guys could be dealing with an air sign, a Libra, uh, a Libra, or you guys could be dealing with a Pisces, a Leo, or you could be dealing with any earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or you could be dealing with any air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or you could be dealing with a Pisces. Not, well, yeah, Pisces, but I meant to say fire sign, Sag, Leo, Aries. Or you could be dealing with anybody. That's always a possibility, right? I mean, it doesn't have to be the signs I say. It could be anybody, right? So let's get your reading started. Let's find out what this is all about. So far, it looked like that you was in a community. It looked like you was in a relationship, and it came to an end due to the fact that somebody was up to no good. They could have been lying, cheating, whatever. They was up to no good. But it looks like with the sun, things have started getting better, but it looks like you could be wanting to invest, or you've been waiting on someone here to invest into this connection, and you guys are not speaking. You guys could be giving each other a silent treatment right about now. Because you could have cut this person out. Because you got tired of their BS. And you cut them out. I mean, let's find out. Okay? So I'm going to start clarifying to get some more details. Because you know I like details. Okay? So let's find out about the Ten of Swords. Let's see what this Ten of Swords is all about. Please get more information on the Ten of Swords. Please get more information on the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Please get more information on the Ten of Swords. Please get more information on the Ten of Swords. <coughs> Excuse me. Please get more information on the Ten of Swords. Please get more information on the Ten of Swords. Please get more information on the Ten of Swords. Please get more information on the Ten of Swords. Please get more information on the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Please get more information on the Ten of Swords. 
find the Ten of Swords here. Give you more information on the Ten of Swords. Find the Ten of Swords here. Give you more information on the Ten of Swords. Give you more information on the Ten of Swords. Give you more information on the Ten of Swords. So, I have the Ten of Cups in reverse. I have the Ace of Wands in reverse. So, basically, this was a breakup. You guys could have been living in the same household. The spark had died out. The fire, the spark, everything is gone. The fire is no longer there. That love when flying out the window is gone. And somebody wants, uh, with a page of pentacles here, somebody wants to come back in and apologize. They're going to come back in and apologize. But we got the five of cups in reverse. So either you or them are getting over this. Because somebody here is still missing you. But one of you guys are getting over this. And we got the nine of swords. Nine of wands. I'm sorry. The nine of wands here. So with the nine of wands here is like you're holding your ground. You're holding your ground. This person, they're going to be very persistent. Whoever this person is, you know, they could be missing you. They could be, this person could be missing you and they want to come back and apologize. But it's like, you're tired of this. You know, you're tired of the same old thing, same old, same old song. You're tired of it. You're tired of the stem singing the same old thing. You know, I'm tired. I mean, I love you. Please forgive me. I'll never do it again. Blah, 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 blah. You already know. You heard the song plenty of times. Keep, let's keep it moving, right? Let's find out about the Four of Wands. Please get more information on the Four of Wands. Please get more information on the Four of Wands. Please get more information on the Four of Wands. Please get more information on the Four of Wands. Please get more information on the Four of Wands. Please get more information on the Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here? Please give me more information on the four of wands. Why is the four of wands here? Please give me more information on the four of wands. Please give me more information on the four of wands. Why is the four of wands here? Please give me more information on the four of wands. Okay, what we got going on here? Oh, okay. Okay. We got the King of Cups. We got the Three of Cups. We got the Eight of Cups in reverse. We got the Two of Cups. And we got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so whoever this person is, they're coming back. They're coming back because like I said, with the Nine of Wands here, this person is being very persistent because you know, the fire is gone. Whatever happened between you guys, it's like, it's done. It's like you're done. And you're tired of hearing the same old story over and over and over. But this person is going to be very persistent and they're going to want an apology. I mean, they're going to want to apologize and, you know, basically kiss ass. That's what they're going to be doing. But so, but you're either you or them, somebody here is starting to get over this already. But this person is still being persistent. So they're coming back as the king of cups making an offering because this person wants to reunite with you because we do have the two of cups here so there is still love between the both you guys the love is still there the fire probably went out but the love is still there you know so and then we have the queen of pentacles in reverse and with the queen of pentacles in reverse this is you guys basically either you or them Focusing on yourself right now because the Queen of Pentacles upright, she does it all. You know, she's nurturing, she's loving, she's caring, she cooks, she cleans, she works, she pays the bills, takes care of the house. She does it all. She's your superwoman. Okay, Cancer? She's your superwoman. Although some of you guys, being at the Queen of Pentacles, she's in reverse. Some of you guys are over there could be talking about. I'm not your superwoman. I'm not the kind of girl that you can let go and think that everything's okay. Boy, I am only human. 
This girl needs more than occasional hugs and a touch of love, love from you. And if you feel it in your heart and you understand me, everybody sing along with me. <laughs> I had to throw that in because, you know, this is your superwoman right here. She does it all. She's your queen of pentacles, so she does it all. But right now, she's focusing on herself. Yeah, it's all about her now. She ain't studying this person. So somebody here with the with a uh, five of pentacles in reverse and the queen of pentacles in reverse, this is either you or them getting over this person because now you are worrying about yourself. You're moving on. You're worrying about your money, your finances. You're doing is all about you now. It's all about you getting your hair, your nails, outfits, shoes, whatever, going to the gym, whatever the case may be, but you're not studying the other person. You worrying about you and you only. That's why the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse, and that's why, and this person now wants to come back because they see that you're not studying them, and now they realize that you're that superwoman, even though some of you guys are busy singing, talking about I'm not your superwoman, but in reality, you are the superwoman or superman. So this goes vice versa. It doesn't have to be. Because if I'm not picking up on your energy, I could be picking up on their energy. Okay? So, this code. So, if you need a flip it, Cancer, baby, go right ahead and flip it, baby. Flip it like you flipping burgers. Okay? This applies to the men. Not just to the females. Okay? I want to let you guys know that. So, don't be emailing me, not, don't be not emailing me, but don't be writing the comments that it sounds like I'm only doing readings for females, but I'm not. Okay, I'm doing it for both, because you guys have a lot to do with this reading. A lot. Okay? So, let's find out about the Seven of Swords. Please give me, uh, please give me more information on the Seven of Swords. Please give me more information on the Seven of Swords. Please give me more information on the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Please give more information on the Seven of Swords. Please give more information on the Seven of Swords. Please give more information on the Seven of Swords. Please give more information on the Seven of Swords. Please give more information on the Seven of Swords. Please give more information on the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Please give more information on the Seven of Swords. Please give more information on the Seven of Swords. Please give more information on the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Please give me more information on the seven of swords. Why the seven of swords here? Please give me more information on the seven of swords. Please give me more information on the seven of swords. Okay. Seven of swords. So I have the five of swords in reverse. I mean five of swords, not in reverse. Five of swords. So this person, whoever this person was, they was busy playing mind games with you. They was busy playing mind games with you. Uh, the two of pentacles so this person they could have been juggling either juggling you and another person or they could have been juggling a head over heart decision because it doesn't have to be another person it could simply be an idea of should they be with you or not be with you you know and again this person wants to come back in and make a stable offering to you and with the page of wands here they want to communicate the empress they still want to be with you. This person still wants to be with you. Like I said, they're going to be persistent. They're going to, this person is going to be very persistent. Like I said, it shows they're coming back. They're going to be persistent. And because they still want expansion with you. They still want growth and expansion with you. They're coming back. They're, you know, although they're not in no rush to come towards you. They're not in no rush. With the Knight of Pentacles here, they're not in no rush at all at all they're not in no rush so for those of you guys that want to get with this person like yesterday you may want to call them an uber or a lyft because they're not in no rush to come towards you to make an offering now the page of pentacles this is them contacting you and being very flirtatious with you you know but they're not offering you anything you know the page of one the page of ones brings good news this is them contacting you, being flirtatious. Hey, you know, you know, I'm still interested. I like you, you know, we should hook up and everything, blah, 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 blah. But they're still not offering you anything. They're not offering you stability. 
because they're not in no rush to do that. Because again, this person was busy playing mind games with you. Now, this person could have been self-sabotaging the relationship with the Seven of Swords because it doesn't have to be that that person was cheating on you with another person. Oh, lying or steal. I mean, lying, well, yes, lying or stealing doesn't have to be that. It could easily be that this person was self-sabotaging the relationship because, again, the Two of Pentacles, there was, this person is indecisive. There was had they had a hard time trying to make a decision. It's like, should I be with her or be with him? Yes, no, yes, no. It could have been one of those things, and they was ba and they basically self sabotaged the relationship because they wasn't offering you shit. And but this person still wants expansion and growth with you. And the queen of, and the empress, this is what she represents: growth and expansion, new beginning. So. Cancers, this is all up to you guys. This is so far, this is coming up to be a free will. This is that free will. If you want, if you guys want to decide to take this person back, that's all on you. That's your decision because at the end of the day, Cancer is going to do what Cancer wants to do. Right? Right. And I can't do shit about it. Let's find out about the sun, what the sun is all about. Please get more information. Please give, I'm going to put it back because I wasn't even done. Oh, messing up my cart. Please give more information on the sun. Why is the sun here? Please give more information on the sun. Why is the sun here? Please give more information on the sun. Why is the sun here? Please give more information on the sun. Why is the sun here? Please give more information on the sun. Why is the sun here? Please give me information on the sun. Why is the sun here? Please give me information on the sun. Why is the sun here? Please give me information on the sun. Why is the sun here? Please give me information on the sun. Please give me information on the sun. Why is the sun here? Please give me information on the sun. Please give me information on the sun. Why is the sun here? Please give me more information on the sun. Why is the sun here? Please give me more information on the sun. Why is the sun here? Please give me more information on the sun. Okay. Alright, some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo or with a Libra. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, this is here. Okay, first of all, I got the Ten of Swords in reverse. So things have not ended between you and this person at all. Has not ended. You thought it ended, it has not ended. Apparently it hasn't because this person is being very persistent. They want to come back. And look, we got the Seven of Swords again in reverse. This time around, it's in reverse. So this means this person is coming clean now. They're coming clean and they're speaking the truth. They're going to speak their truth. And I got the Nine of Cups. This is going to be a wish fulfillment. The Six of Pentacles. Things were, things were never balanced between the both of you guys. Things need to be an equal give and take. Things need to be balanced out. And I got the Six of Wands. So, there's going to be a victory here. There's going to be a victory here. This person, of course, this person is trying to get your attention as well. Because remember, they want to come back. So, this person is trying to get your attention and they're going to come clean. And by them coming clean, speaking the truth, I mean, I don't know how much truth they're going to tell you. But with the Seven of Swords, this is them coming clean, telling you the truth. I do not know. Some of you guys may get the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Some of you get, guys may get some semi-truth. I do not know. You know your person better than I do. So... This is them coming clean. Things have not ended between the both of you guys. This is going to be like a wish fulfillment. Actually, if you think about it, it might be a wish fulfillment. If because if your person is not capable of actually speaking the truth, and this time around they actually are, and this time around they're actually speaking the truth, that might just be the wish fulfillment right there. That they finally spoke the truth for the first time in their life. That could be the miracle right there of them actually speaking the truth. Because look, the Nine of Cups and the Seven of Swords. 
them coming clean, that could be the wish fulfillment right there. <laughs> I mean, hey. Hey, it is what it is, right? I'm just saying it is what it is. And by them finally speaking the truth for the first time in your life, I mean, because in their life, because you guys know your partner better than I do. Shit, I don't even know them. But you're going to be able to gain a victory out of it. It's going to be a victory. You'll be good. So it has, it's good. It's going to have a happy ending because we have the sun here. We have the sun, and you know the sun is the happiest card out of the deck. And then you have the six of wands, which is victory. And then you have the wish fulfillment, or in this situation, it might just be a miracle that this person actually speaks the truth for the first time in their life. Just don't get used to it. I had to throw that part in. No, it's a going. Just don't get used to it, because that might be the first and the last time. Just saying. Let's find out about the Seven of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Seven of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Seven of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Seven of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Seven of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Seven of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Seven of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Please get more information on the Seven of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Seven of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Seven of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Seven of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Seven of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Seven of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Seven of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. So. Okay, so we got the High Priestess in reverse. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Ace of Pentacles. And the Queen of Swords. So, and we have the Queen, the, the High Priestess twice. So now the High Priestess is coming out in reverse. So now you guys are talking. So you guys could have been waiting on this person to invest into this finally, invest into this connection. And you guys are now talking. You guys are now communicating. Because with the with the with the high priestess in reverse, that's when you guys are actually talking. Because the high priestess she doesn't reveal any of her secrets. But when she's in reverse, she's running her mouth. So because things are going to turn around for you. So some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, or Scorpio. So things are going to turn around for you guys because now you guys are communicating. Something that the Queen of Swords does. The Queen of Swords, she communicates. Yes, she cuts people out of her life when they ain't serving them, when they're not serving her. And we got the Queen of Swords twice here because she's at the bottom of the deck and now she's coming out. So the Queen of Swords, she's a great communicator. And she's basically cutthroat. She tells it how it is. She does not sugarcoat anything for you. She tells you the truth in your face. And if you can't handle it, then that's your problem, not hers. She's being completely honest with you. Let me fix the shirt. There we go. She's being completely honest with you. And she's very direct when she says things. So this is you guys communicating. Because remember, the high priestess in reverse and the queen of swords here, she's communicating and she's speaking the truth. And by you guys speaking the truth, having this conversation, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So that's a new start, instability. So this is a new having a new start and st you know stability with this person. This person is finally gonna come clean, speak the truth. That might be the miracle. And once you guys start talking, that's when things will turn around. Because now you guys are communicating. And now you guys are listening to each other because communication in this situation from what I from what I'm getting is the key because you guys haven't been talking you guys have been giving each other the silent treatment they've been self sabotaging though they could have been sabotaging the whole entire relationship playing mind games ain't no telling what the hell they was doing but they're gonna be coming clean and this person they're gonna be very persistent with you they're not going to give up because they really want to be with you. Because even though what they did, there's still love between the both of you guys. There's still feelings. Now, let me make this clear to some of you guys. 
Now, for some of you guys, this is going to apply to those people that actually want to be with this person and with the person that you already have history with. Because if you just finished meeting this person like a month ago, two months ago, three months ago, it may not apply to you because, you know, maybe it will, maybe, it, you know, because you don't have that much history with this person. You know what I'm saying? There's not that much history with the person and the feelings are really not all that strong to where is a two of cups. You know what I'm saying? It's not all that strong with the two of cups. For some of you guys, it may be, it could be love at first sight. I do not know, but I'm just trying to make that clear that the feelings may not be all that strong, but whoever, whichever, whichever, if you want to get back with this person, this is going to apply to you. The story will apply to you. If not, then it doesn't apply to you. But from what it seems like here, there was a lack of communication between the both of you guys. Somewhere in between the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords, there was a lack of communication here. Because you guys were not seeing things eye to eye. You guys were, I mean, it was not an equal give and take here. It was not equal give and take. It was not fair. There was a lack of communication. And in this situation, what's going to help your relationship if you actually want to be with this person is and have that stability that you want is going to be the communication, the Queen of Swords. And that's what the Queen of Swords does. She communicates, and when she communicates, she is clear with you. She is crystal clear. She's direct. She does not beat around the bush. She does not sugarcoat anything. She is straight to the point. And this is what's going to give you the stability that you need, the communication. Because there was a lack of communication. This person probably wasn't clear with you at all. One of you guys, I mean, I don't know. This person probably was never clear with you. And for some of you guys, you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius. I have the star at the bottom of, at the bottom of the deck. Again, wish fulfillment, miracles. You know. So let's find out about this high priestess here. Please give more information on the high priestess. Why is the high priestess here? Please give more information on the high priestess. Please give more information on the high priestess. Please give more information. Please give more information on the high priestess. 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 Why is the high priestess here? Please give more information on the high priestess. Please give more information on the high priestess. Why is the high priestess here? Please give more information on the high priestess. Please give more information on the high priestess. Oh, Lord. Okay. What do we have here? Okay. So, look, Cancers, you guys are coming out on your own reading. The chariot. Moving forward. So, we have here the seven of wands. This person is willing to fight for this. Because, like I said, they're going to be very persistent. This person is very going to be very persistent because we got the five of pentacles here. They want to come out from the cold. This person wants to come out from the cold. Again, you guys are not talking giving each other silent treatment. They want to come out from the cold. They're feeling abandoned. They're feeling left out. And they want to talk. And we got the page of swords right here. This is small talk. This is chit chat. This is them communicating or you communicating. Again, if I'm not picking up on your energy, I could be picking up on their energy. Okay? So if you need to flip it, baby, go right ahead and flip it. Flip it like you flipping burgers, and this also applies to men, not just to the females, okay? So this is communication here, but it's small talk. That's what it is. This is small talk. This is them texting you, trying to fill you out. This is them texting you, trying to fill you out, you know, hey, how you been and everything, you know, things out there crazy right about now. Just want to check in on you, see if you're okay. You know, let me know if you need anything. Small talk. And they're basically trying to fill you out. This is what this is right here. 
They want to try to chit chat with you, trying to fill you out, see where you at. That's what that is. And then, apparently, that chit chat goes, that small talk goes pretty far because now we got the King of Swords. The King of Swords is an Aquarius, so some of you guys are dealing with an Aquarius because I got, I got, I got, I had, you know, the star was the last one. So I got the Aquarius here, and Aquarius, this person tends to be an authority figure. They could be in the military, they could be a cop, they could be in a leadership position at their job, such as a director or manager. But this is someone that's stubborn, that could be hot and cold one minute, they could be hot one minute and go cold the next minute. This is someone that when they say no, it's no. When they put their foot down, it's a wrap. There's nothing you can do or say to get this person to change their mind because this person is stubborn as hell. But the King of Swords tends to speak the truth because the King of Swords is also a great communicator. So we have the King and Queen here of Swords. So you're going to be meeting them at their level. So you guys, when you guys communicate with each other, you guys are going to be very direct and straight to the point. No sugar coating because this person is coming to you speaking logic. They're not going to come to you speaking to you with all these emotions and all this stuff, blah, 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 and be crying over there. You know, they're not going to do that. They're going to be speaking logic. And you're going to be meeting them as well. You're going to meet them. You're going to be right there at their point. You guys are going to be very direct and straight to the point with each other. This is one conversation here that's going to be, wow, that I would love to be a fly in the wall just to hear this conversation. These two communicate, that's going to be because she's cutthroat. She's cutthroat. And when the king of swords, when he speaks, he could, he could cut you with his tongue because he, he has like a very sharp tongue. So this one of those conversations is going to be like, it's going to be like that. So, and look, the Ace of Swords is here. So they will be speaking the truth. You guys are going to be speaking the truth to each other. There's going to be honesty within this conversation. So you guys have a pending conversation with this person. You guys will be speaking the truth to each other. You're going to be very direct. Because you guys know how your cancers can be. You guys are going to be very direct. Whoever this person is, they're going to be coming clean and they're going to be telling you the truth. So right here in this situation, once you guys communicate, this is what's going to give you, where that damn card is at, the stability that you want and you guys will be able to move forward with the chariot here. You guys will be able to move forward with this person because they're going to offer you stability because this is a new beginning. Things are going to turn around with you with the wheel of fortune here. Things are going to turn around once you guys start talking again. So with the Wheel of Fortune, this could take place at any time. It could take place next week, next month, two months from now. It could take place anytime. Don't try and force it. Just let it happen naturally. Okay? So it could take place at any time. Either you or the other person is going to be communicating. I don't know which one it is, but only you guys know. Okay? So, let's get you a guidance message here. Please give me a, a guidance message for cancer. Please give me 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 a guidance message for cancer. A surprise is in the horizon. Expect a nice surprise. I already told you what the surprise is, so I guess I ruined it for you. Oops, my bad. Sorry. Sorry to ruin the surprise, my bad. I mean, you guys can still act surprised when they call you, knock on your door or whatever. Just act surprised. I mean, it's simple. Right? But anyways, my cancers, uh, this is all I have for you guys. 
I will see you guys again for your weeklies. You guys take care, be safe, and also don't forget to wash your hands. And while you at it, wash that ass. Okay, Cancers and Cancers, stay cool. Bye.